guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another grocery haul for you. I spent 41 at Aldi's and 19 at Walmart. It was just a small haul to get us through. Like today's Sunday, you're gonna be seeing this in real time. And so we only need to get to Friday for these groceries. We have been so busy. Like we had family reunion, my kids had races, we have a ton of leftovers from the family reunion and so we aren't going to need to eat a ton of meals. Like I didn't need to get a bunch of stuff. So that has been keeping my grocery budget down a lot, which I'm really thankful for. I also spent around $11 at Target on household items and food items. That should probably be the haul right before this if you wanna go check that out. So let me show you what I got to get us through the next couple of days. So at Walmart, like I said, I spent $19. Um, we got toilet paper and paper towels. I am looking into some other like alternatives to just purchasing them as we go because I really think we're using so much that it's really not cost effective to buy it like not in bulk. So my friend um, Tiffany from Simple Wife Simple Life actually said maybe to buy it on Amazon. So I may try that. Uh, we got some of the Arm & Hammer OxyClean Stain Fighting um, Laundry Detergent. This is my favorite for the summer. I really think it does good on stains and like stinky outside dirt. My kids love these Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles. We only can get them at our local grocery store or at Walmart, and so we picked those up. And then this scrub brush. So that's all, and it cost $19. Not a lot of items. I got a box of shells and cheese for the kids for an easy lunch since they're gonna be home you know, with me every day now. I got some of these original spreadable cheese wedges. I like that on the salami and some crackers for lunch. These are new. They are the dark chocolate creamy coconut and chopped almond ice cream bars. You guys know how much I love the coconut bars, like the organic ones. And I think these ones are probably a little bit worse for you, but they were new, so I have to try them because I'm a coconut fan. So I'll let you know how I like them. And then I got the kids some chocolate crunch bars. We go through a lot of popsicles and ice cream in the summer. Italian mild sausage was on sale for $1.99. And then I got these thin chicken breasts. They were kind of expensive, $6.27. But I'm going to do chicken salads one night and then a piece or maybe a piece and a half is going to go in my buffalo chicken pasta salad. I got some lemonade and some yogurt tubes, sharp cheddar cheese for the pasta salad, some goldfish and grape tomatoes. We have a ton of veggies left over from the family reunion, enough to make probably two big salads. And so I'm going to use those. I just needed tomatoes, some peanut butter crackers for snacks. Salsa, brownie bites, these are a fun snack to take like to the pool with us. It kind of gets the kids something sweet so they're not always asking for ice cream bars at the pool or like treats from the concession stand. Some strawberries and some peaches. Peaches were on sale I think for $1.79 a bag, so that's a good price. Some green grapes, tortilla chips, and then some whole grain white bread. So not a ton of stuff. For the price, at least in my opinion, like I said, I spent $41. I spent $19 at Walmart, and then I also spent right around $10 or $11 on household items at Target this week. So I'm going to put my total here. So have some hamburger in the freezer that I'm going to do tacos with. Um, in addition to this, plus like I said, we have pulled pork and barbecued chicken, pasta salad, fruit, buns, lots of stuff left over from the family reunion. So that, like I said, is keeping my grocery bill really low. I spent a total of $60 today. And then when I add on the Target from midweek, it's going to be right around $71. So I think I'm like, am I under $150 possibly? still for the month of June. And I'm really, really excited because I think it's like maybe the 10th or the 12th. I don't even know what day it is. But regardless, I'm really, really happy with, you know, how much I've spent. I'm pretty, I will put my total for the month 
um, somewhere on the screen here. I'm just trying to keep track and keep accountable because if you guys remember, sticking to that $400 a month grocery budget is one of my goals for June. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.